in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this pair design that was done for this little girl's Halloween costume. And so on the back of this video, there is a Halloween Melody Minute that has all of her costume in it. It's got some little sneak peeks from what we did on Halloween. We didn't take many videos because we were having too much fun trick-or-treating and all that great stuff. So, you know, there's just a little bit, but it is there and her costume is so cute. We had so much fun with it. So definitely check that out. And I also want to mention that this design was done completely with Madame Glam products. I will tell you all about them throughout the video. They're ones I've had in my collection for a while. Mainly their gel paints are like the best ever. I'm so, I'm so in love with those gel paints. And then I also want to say that this is a pre-Black Friday sale. So you may notice my video is being uploaded a little bit earlier because I typically do 9 p.m. But I'm uploading this one at midnight on the 12th of November because today is the day for the Black Friday sale. So if you guys want to get it, it is not just VIPs or VIPs. It is also you know, it's anybody and you can get to pudding gels on this sale. So those gels that were like a VIP only thing, you can even really see them on their website unless you are a VIP. Today you can see them, you can buy them, and you can get them on sale, which is really cool. So if you guys are interested in those gels, just to try them out, get some that you didn't have. If you aren't a VIP, today is a perfect day for it. And I have a link and a discount code in the description box below. It is a one-time use, but like I said, open to anybody. So I hope you love it. And don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well. Bye. So here we are, we're going to begin with Madame Glam's Lonely Boy. So it's just a dark green gel polish. It is one that has a little bit of like a jelly consistency, which not, not like it's going to be sheer, but it just has like a, I don't know, a really pretty effect to it. Just, I like the texture of that particular color for, for a full nail coverage. Then I took a few different colors of green and I just took a, their ombre brush and I swiped them across the nail, added a little bit of green chrome powder for just a little extra effect. And now with their gel paints, the rest of this design besides the green background and the nude color that's over the French tips or behind the French tips is all their gel paints. We have brown, white, red, yellow, green, or nope, not green, yellow, red, blue, and that's it. Yep, so those colors um, of their gel paints and their coverage is beautiful. I did some full nails just with gel paint, which I hadn't done before, and they turned out beautifully. The index finger that looks like the wings of a scarlet macaw is just done 100% with gel paint, and it turned out so nicely. And so I'm so excited to show you guys that one that's a little farther down into the video. But otherwise, we're just going to use those colors. I have my little palette next to me, and I'm dipping and mixing to get different shades. So like this darker red color I was just using was some of the red gel paint mixed with just a smidgen of black gel paint. The black is very pigmented, so it goes a very long way. So you have to use it a little bit cautiously in that respect. We're going to do some blue on the wings. The great thing with this design and the fact that it uses all of this gel paint is that they just, they're one coat. You know, you don't have to worry about applying a second coat over everything in the art. It's just as a one coat deal. They mix together so nicely. If you did have some where you wanted to use some gel colors that were gel polish, you can mix the gel paints with the gel polish too, which is just, it's nice. And they cure beautifully. They cure evenly. They do not ripple. Sometimes some gel polish when you're trying to paint a design, if it might happen to get a little bit thicker just because of the way that you're painting, it'll ripple when you go to cure it. And that is not the case with these. Just the whole experience is so nice. They don't spread out at all. Gel polish is notorious for after you paint something, give it 30 seconds, give it a minute. If you don't cure it, it will soften. All the edges will just kind of soften and melt and it'll, it'll just start to flow a little bit. It'll level out. That is not the case with gel paint where you put it is where it stays. All of those things make it super beneficial for painting a highly detailed design such as this one. So we're going to keep adding all of these details throughout this design. As you're looking at it and you're thinking, oh my goodness, there's so many different colors. There's green, there's orange, there's all these things. All of that was just done by grabbing different colors and mixing them together a little bit. I am very custom to mixing paint, so that's not something that is uh, out of my comfort zone. If it is something that you're just, you know, I don't want to mix paint, I don't feel like it, I don't want to do it, you can certainly grab basically an entire rainbow of color and have that on your palette at your disposal if you don't, don't want to or don't feel comfortable mixing your paints. We're going to be painting a close-up of our Scarlet Macaw's head and back on the thumbnail. So this background of this nail is the same as the other nail, that beautiful mix of greens. 
when you're doing this, um, just keep keep in mind that it's the same color pattern. Anytime, you know, the same color color scheme. So any of those colors you mixed before when you were mixing them for your ring nail, maybe mix a little extra so you have plenty for doing the other nails so that you don't have to go back through and mix them a second time. That might be the biggest recommendation I have as far as the paint mixing goes. And if you are somebody that's not very confident in paint mixing just in general, I do have a color theory class, a live class that I did a few months ago, and I could put a link to that in the description box below that just goes through all sorts of information for color theory. You know, how to look at a color wheel, how to mix paint, and it does go into some detail on paint mixing specifics and recommendations I have. So with that being said, if you are a novice to paint mixing or have tried mixing some paints and the colors never come out the way that you envision, then I would certainly recommend taking the time to watch through that video. And I even know a lot of people that screenshotted some of the slides to use as cliff notes to go back to when they needed to. So that just might be something to, to look at. Otherwise, for this Scarlet Macaw, we are getting pretty close to being done with him. He's got a lot of details, lots of colors, add some details to the beak. While we're painting this beak, I'm going to just go a little bit more detail into that Black Friday sale. So it's 50% off and it's a minimum of three items in the cart. So that means you can have three items, you can have 35 items, you just have to have at least three. It does, like I said, include those pudding gels, which is pretty exciting since they you couldn't even really look at them on the website unless you were a VIP. So the fact that they're available, if this is like your chance to get them, for now at least, if you are interested in them. And the code is HPZ, so like Hot Pink Zebra, and then it's BF Black Friday 50. So I will put a link to that and I'll write it all out in the description box. So if there's any confusion or information that you missed or you want to not have to listen to me, you know, blab on again to remember what the code is, you can go there. Plus there is a specific link that, um, I do not, I, sh I feel like I should mention this because, um, there's a lot of confusion with what kind of kickbacks there is. I do not get any kickbacks from Adam Glam. I do not get, um, they don't pay me to say their things. I do get some products sent to me from them. And it just, you know, in spirit of full disclosure, but I do not get a kickback and I turn down free products from companies every single day because I don't like their products. I don't think they're worth using. I don't want them on my nails. I don't want them in my house because they're just taking up space. Not the case with Madame Glam. I truly do love their products and you know, they're, they're vegan, they're cruelty free. They come in very nice packaging that does not leak. Their brushes apply nicely. I use them almost exclusively on my clients because I really do love the product. And I just, you know, sometimes with videos, you, you don't know if the person you're listening to is giving a true opinion. You think, oh, they're the things just saying that because they're being paid to say that. Not the case here. I promise you guys, I would never do that. I have too high standards to promote a product that I, I just don't like. It would never happen. So I hope that gives you some peace of mind. So now on our index finger, we're basically doing the rest of the back or the back of the bird, just like on the thumbnail, but no head. So it's just the focus on the wings, nice and folded in and tucked in on the back of our scarlet macaw. So we've got the blue at the tip and then kind of a yellow green layer and then the red layer. This is shockingly enough, I think is my favorite nail of the set. Just the layers and the texture that's built in. Make sure that you mix plenty of shades of blue and red and the yellow and green so that you can add all these different layers and dimensions and you can shade in those feathers. On the two ring fingers, I'm starting out with the color Malaysia. And all of these color names are in the description box as well, if you're curious. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in that description box. Any information you may possibly need to know, I think will be in there. I'm sure I'm missing something. So, you know, hit me up with any questions you might have. But we're going to first do that code of Malaysia. And then after that's done, we're going to go through and we're going to do all of our little French tip lines. So we're going to start out with the outline of the tip with red and fill in, you know, a little better than 50% of the tip with red. I want it to be mostly a red tip with just a hint of yellow and then blue. Just the very slightest hint of those other colors. I liked that nice kind of intense red tip. We're gonna go through and just kind of blend those together gently with the brush. None of that um, gel paint, the red, the yellow, or the blue had been cured until I was done with all three colors. Once you are cured, and everything has been done, or once you're done and everything has been cured, apply a layer of gel tap coat. And then this Scarlet Macaw set is done. I am so happy with it. It looks so amazing and it went so perfectly with Melody's costume. And like I said, you guys, if you want to see her costume, I do have some videos to show you. She had so much fun trick-or-treating. It was the first year she was really able to go, so we all enjoyed it. And here are those Melody minutes. I'm like you're flying. Now come back this way.
Stay steady. I did not know that my husband recorded that in slow-mo so that actually really surprised me when I'm just going through and watching this because I haven't watched this clip before so yeah that took me by surprise and yes we did I did make all of us wear parrot costumes we all had parrot shirts and I don't know for sure how much Terrell was excited about that but I know Melody was really happy and that's all that matters and we got a okay. kick out of it you're gonna go to the next one yeah. wait till she starts eating it It'll be managed. So you see over there by the Frankenstein? That's going to be the next one. If it was up to me, she'd just eat whatever she wants for Halloween, but Mama's not going to let that happen. So if you guys are wondering what you were just listening to, I don't know if you're paying attention, that was Terrell talking to my sister about my melody consumption management skills. And he was saying that he would let her eat whatever he wanted, whatever she wanted, and that I was going what? to Turn off her what? micromanage, which is true. It's all true. So she's just so cute. I just included this video because it was just so cute what just to watch her about? walk and she had that huge skirt. Okay, go up to that one. So here's the pictures of her costume. She loved it so much. She had such a fun time with it. There's our cockatiel. Her name is Cookie. She's a relatively new addition to our family and so sweet. So I hope you love this video as much as I do. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. Bye.